In Exodus 18, we see that Moses is at work, caring for and leading and guiding God's people. And he has a visitor, Jethro, not from the Beverly Hillbillies, but Jethro, the father-in-law. And this Jethro, well, he's extremely wise. He gives good advice. Let me read this account to you because I think it's so helpful for all of us that are called to work. It says in verse 14, When Moses' father-in-law saw all that Moses was doing for the people, he asked, What are you really accomplishing here? Why are you trying to do all this alone while everyone stands around you morning till evening? Moses replied, Because the people come to me to get a ruling from God. When a dispute arises, they come to me, and I'm the one who settles the case between the quarreling parties. I inform the people of God's decrees and give them his instructions. This is not good, Moses' father-in-law exclaimed. You're going to wear yourself out and the people too. This job is too heavy a burden for you to handle all by yourself. Now listen to me and let me give you a word of advice. And may God be with you. You should continue to be the people's representative before God, bringing their disputes to him. Teach them God's decrees and give them his instructions. Show them how to conduct their lives. But select from all the people some capable, honest men who fear God and hate bribes. Appoint them as leaders over groups of 1,000 and 100, 50 and 10. They should always be available to solve the people's common problems, but have them bring the major cases to you. Let the leaders decide the smaller matters themselves. They will help you carry the load, making the task easier for you. If you follow this advice, and if God commands you to do so, then you will be able to endure the pressures, and all these people will go home in peace. And it says in verse 4 that Moses listened to his father-in-law's advice and followed His suggestions, he chose capable men all over Israel and appointed them as leaders over the people. He put them in charge of groups of 1,000, 150, and 10, and these men were always available to solve the people's common disputes. They brought the major cases to Moses, but they took care of the smaller matters themselves. I love this. If you wanted to summarize all of this in a simple statement that even rhymes, teamwork makes the dream work. I love this. Moses doesn't have to be the one that's always seen, the one to solve every problem. But he instructs, he encourages, he disciples, he delegates responsibility so that everyone can receive good and God can receive glory. Listen, let me have your attention. I don't know what's on your agenda sheet today. I don't know all your responsibilities in in work or in family or in ministry. But I do know this, I know that you're one person, that you're a human being. And God doesn't place upon you more than you can bear, but oftentimes he gives you opportunities for you to help see ministry, responsibility, extended from you to others. So learn the lesson of Moses, learn the beauty and the gift and the ministry of delegation, and learn this simple truth. Teamwork makes the dream work, so trust God and raise up others to do the work that God has gifted them to do.